And so I began with this smaller scale model of the MiG-21 SMT in one 144 scale from the dual combo kit from Edward, which is part of the Super 44 series. You can see that beautiful box art on the front and on the back. And as we open it, we're greeted with these two sprue bags. We've got two each of the clear plastic parts, the tail section construction, and two very detailed sprues because it is a dual combo kit. The second plastic bag has this instruction sheet and two other items inside it and we'll take a look at them. So this is the instruction sheet, it's got the sprue map and the masking guide followed by the assembly instructions and then these very interesting colored paint schemes which are really really enticing. And the other two items are the masking guide and the decal sheet. So the assembly begins with the construction of the cockpit floor and instrument panel and it was a very very simple assembly it's just a matter of gluing the parts together. It's very detailed I read a lot of good reviews about the kit and all of the reviews have been very very positive positive. and clearly the experience of building this kit was amazing it's just a matter of clearing up the little bit of uh, flash or excess sprue that is left off and just sanding it off a little bit and then gluing the parts together and assembling the entire model. And here I'm using the Fevicryl teal blue color to paint the cockpit floor and instrument panel and the seat because the Soviet MiG-21 SMTs had a turquoise green or teal blue color interiors. Now worth mentioning is this masking set that was included in the kit and I should say that this is a very very nice masking set and it came in really handy when painting those very little parts like the canopy and other stuff that you will see as we progress in the video and this was a much needed thing that was very thoughtfully included by Edward in this kit. And so I began painting the dielectrics with Fevicryl Sap Green. Now, because of the uh, size of this kit, which is really, really small, I sprayed the uh, Fevicryl Sap Green at a pressure of 10 PSI and painted on the uh, dielectrics. And here I am once again with the same masking set and I should say that this really came in very handy. This was very thoughtfully included by Edward. Without the help of this masking set, I wouldn't have been able to mask off those uh, very small spaces on this already tiny, tiny kit. 
Since I decided to go all silver with this MiG-21 SMT, I used this rattle can spray and I wanted to test the, uh, the results of uh, rattle can silver spray. So I sprayed from a distance of about five to six inches away to and fro and covered up the entire model in the silver paint. Now at this point I was almost done with the model but I felt that the silver on the MiG-21 was a little bland so I wanted to weather it a little more and I took the help of my Camlin soft pastels and I created a dark grey wash by scraping in white and black into a container adding just two drops of water and mixing it with a little dishwashing liquid and creating a wash. Once that was done, I went ahead for a pin wash. Now a pin wash is, you don't exactly slather over the entire wash over the model, but you only go panel by panel, line by line, and you ensure that the uh, wash only gets into those lines that you need to, and not into any other areas. And then I cleaned up with a cotton Q-tip, So that's about as far as I went with this model. My two cents, a quick little build, very, very detailed, definitely puts a lot of 70 second scale models to shame. A nice inclusion of the masking set, which was very helpful. So leave a comment below on how you like this video and the content. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. Bye-bye.